Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen from a brand I've wanted to look at for a, a few years now. Uh, and that brand is a Big Idea Design. And the pen I'm looking at today is the Fountain EDC. Now, Big Idea Design was formed in about 2009, I think, and they're based in Tennessee in the USA. Uh, and they're, they're brand mission, if you will, uh, was to make uh, EDC, innovative EDC gear, and they've got a huge range of pens and different models and versions of their pens uh, that they make. Um, they've got like really innovative stuff like a, a ballpoint pen or that can take just about any refill, which I would love to look at uh, next. I'm, I'm looking into that one. Uh, but today I wanted to start by looking at their Fountain EDC, which is their pocket friendly fountain pen. Um, so I'm going to talk about parts and features, writing sample, all that kind of usual stuff. So this is the way the pen comes packaged. It's a nice, simple box. It gives some basic sort of information and all of that kind of stuff. A little bit of their uh, social media stuff and there's video instructions on YouTube, all of those kinds of things. Um, it's a nice, very clean box. I like it a lot. And their logo there, it's gonna be quite in focus, but their logo is on the bottom there, big idea design. Um, and when you open up the box, uh, you get like little, you know, card and a sticker and then the pen that normally would sit right there i've been using this pen now for a few weeks uh and so it's not in the box anymore and this is the pen i have so this is the uh stone washed titanium version which i think is absolutely very cool like i like titanium pens i've got a number uh, of them across different brands and things um but this stone washed version i think is really really great so let's talk about the pen okay so simple clean you know blank disc on the top there the clip is in uh this, this you could unscrew this little end bit there and the, the clip is put in there has the ti titanium logo there um it's a very stiff clip uh but functional prime mostly functional the cap swells a little bit and there's this like little beveled edge on it which drops down onto the barrel the barrel continues along and then we get this little like divot uh end on there uh, which is where the pen posts and a pen like of this size you can see it's a smaller pen it's pocket friendly does need to post to be a uh, really you know writable uh for bigger hands or for any hands really it is a snap cap and it's on a, uh, it's like an O-ring just inside, I don't think you'd be able to say if there's an O-ring just there, inside the cap. Uh, it's got a good lot of weight in the cap and it's a smaller body pen. There's a step down onto the section and we get that little ridge there which is where the, the O-ring sort of pops over. Some grooves on the section and then we get the Bock 180 stainless steel nib. Um, and it's it only comes in extra fine as far as I can tell on the website. And there's a nice unique plastic feed there. Um, very simple, clean, all titanium, all of that kind of stuff, uh, but very nice. Okay, you unscrew the body there. Uh, once again, another O-ring on the end there, which is excellent, so it makes it nice and secure. And then you get a converter, it comes with the converter, and it's compatible, well, it is a Kaweco uh, converter. Uh, this is the, the uh, little converter they use for, like, the, the sport and things like that, as this is a smaller pen, and so it comes with that, um, and it's nice and secure in there, and that O-ring does give you a lot of security in terms of, like, the pen being stable and, you know, not going to leak in your pockets and things like that. And, of course, that converter is a standard international, so you could use standard short cartridges as well. As I said, the pen does post, and it posts well onto there. Like, there's a bit of give, in the posting, it doesn't post very deep, but what that does is it makes it a decent sort of size in the hand there. Okay, for the size comparison today, I wanted to put it alongside two pens. Firstly, the standard Lamy Safari, so we can see where it fits in terms of a standard size pen, but also wanted to put it alongside here, the Kaweco Sport, just so you can sort of get a sense of where it fits alongside what is probably the standard pocket fountain pen that is out on the market. If we see these three uncapped, you'll see still, obviously, it's a lot shorter there than the Lamy Safari. Both of these pens are not designed to be written with unposted, but they both can be, and for short, like, you know, ticking something off a to-do list or something like that, you could easily get away with that. 
And then posted, you see they are both still shorter than the Lummi Safari, but they come out at pretty decent length pants. Just for the sake of comparison, here it is alongside the unposted Lummi Safari, which I know a lot of people write with the Safari unposted. So you can see they're both good length, but the, uh, the titanium Fountain EDC from Big Idea Design is a little bit longer there than the Kaveco Sport. It makes actually quite a nice size pen in the hand. Okay, let's talk about some dimensions now for the Big Idea Design Fountain EDC. Capped, it's 110 millimeters. So it is on the smaller side, but definitely not super small for a pocket pen. Uncapped, uh, it's about 100 millimeters. So as I said, if you were ticking something off a to-do list or just jotting down a quick phone number or something like that, the kinds of things that a lot of people use, you know, pocket or EDC fountain pens for, this is perfectly usable. And I've used this like this a number of times. Then when we get it posted, it comes in at about 150 millimeters. So it makes a very, very nice size. There is an issue with balance, which I'll come back to in just a second, but I think, you know, it's okay. The section in the middle is about nine millimeters and it's about 13 millimeters around the cap. So it's a fairly decent sized pen just on the shorter side for obvious reasons. Now, the entire pen weighs 35 grams in this stone washed titanium version. It is available in things like copper and brass and zirconium and things like that. So other versions will weigh different amounts. This one weighs 35 grams. Now, 20 of that is in the body of the pen and 15 of that is in the cap but a lot of the weight in the cap is at the end of the cap with all the clip and everything like that. So if you're holding it down on that section, which is on the slimmer side, you do feel the pen back weighted in your hand. Now, it's perfectly fine uh, to use, I hold it slightly further back and the balance is actually great. You do hold it on that little step down, but it's not a sharp step down, so you don't feel it under your fingers as you know a hindrance or anything like that. Let's do a writing sample now with the uh, Fountain EDC from Big Idea Design. So this has a steel Bok 180 extra fine nib. And the ink I have in this today is from Diamine. It is black onyx. Actually, I think that's reverse. It's onyx black, but you get the idea. Let's do some writing. Okay, so you can see it writes nice and consistently. Quick writing. I've had absolutely zero issues with this pen. It, it writes consistently and reliably. Reverse writing. It makes it very fine and very dry, but you might be able to get out one or two words if you need to. It's not the wettest pen going around on the market, but it is, well, <laughs> in saying that, it just wrote like that. Uh, but in everyday writing, I don't find it to be super, super wet. Um, but you'd also don't want that for a, uh, you know, uh, an EDC sort of style fountain pen. Flex writing. You can get a tiny little bit out of it. Uh, but these Bok nibs are generally pretty uh, stiff. So, as you can see, reliable rider, smooth rider, relatively wet, wetter than I give it credit for, probably. Uh, just on occasionally, like up here, it just tended to write just a tiny little bit dry. Um, but yeah, writing very nice and wet and smooth now. Uh, so yeah, Fountain EDC from Big Idea Design, a very, very pleasant and a very reliable, consistent rider. So what does this fountain pen cost? Well, uh, on the website from Big Idea Design, it costs a hundred US dollars, which I think is a pretty good price point, to be honest. Like you're getting a pretty, you're getting a very, very well-made pen, well thought out, well considered, all of that. You know, nice German nib and a nice converter, all of those kinds of things, um, and free worldwide shipping. 
So for 100 US, I think it's a pretty darn good deal. Um, and it's a great little pen. And I think the Big Idea Design pens in general are wonderful. As I said, I would love to have a look at uh, their, you know, their ballpoint pen, uh, which has the multiple refill um, mechanism, which I'll show you in more detail when I get my hands on one of those. Um, they just do really, really interesting things. It's a brand I've admired for a number of years. And now, as I said, finally been able to get my hands on one to review. Okay, so now let's talk about some pros and cons. Firstly, the biggest con with this pen is the balance when it's posted. There's a lot of weight at the back of that cap. And if you hold it far down there on the grip section, you absolutely feel it at the top there. If you hold the pen slightly further back on that ridge, you don't notice it so much because a bit more of the weight goes into the webbing of your hand. Um, but also, the advantage of a pen like this is that it's not a pen for long writing sessions. It's not designed for that. You can definitely use it for that, and I have. But um, it's for quick writing sessions, it's for taking notes on the go. It's for, uh, you know, sort of um, jotting things down or ticking things off lists, writing down phone numbers, those kinds of things. Um, and you can easily do that unposted as well, like just get a few words out if you need to. You can see it sort of occasionally pushing there into the webbing of my hand and all that kind of thing. Uh, but if you're, you know, if you're quick with it, not so much of a problem. I think the clip is probably a touch stiff for an EDC pen. EDC pens generally tend to go into things with like elastic pen loops. Uh, so like I'm thinking like pen loops on notebooks or in your pocket or pen cases. Uh, it can often go over, you know, shirt material, those kinds of things. And it is a stiff clip. Now that little lift on the edge there does make it very usable, but it is a very stiff clip like there's very little movement in it. So just be aware that if you're trying to get it over things like elastic, it might just take a little bit of work. There are a couple of things that are both pros and cons. For instance, um, the grooves on the section here. Now they do add a little bit of stability in your fingers, just a little bit, just enough so that it doesn't feel slippery. But if you're filling through the converter like they give you um, and with the converter in the pen, then that does become an ink trap. Uh, so just be aware that you really, once you've filled up the pen through the nib, uh, just really be careful to clean those out or you will get ink on your fingers, you get ink in the cap, all of that kind of stuff. But there are so, 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 so many pros with this pen. Firstly, I think the price is a really great price point for this pen. I think it ticks a lot of boxes at that at that price. Um, I think this finish, this stonewashed uh, titanium is absolutely glorious it's not going to scuff easily it's not going to damage easily and if it does it's going to wear it very very well uh, but also it's kind of cool like it's got this kind of cool gray matte finish to it which i really really enjoy i really love love the o-rings in the uh, cap and in the uh, threads there they give you such great stability um, and they feel like they're you know you know what they're doing you can feel it onto there you can feel it when you post it it's just a really, really simple, like O-rings are becoming more and more common on pens as a solution for capping and for posting and things like that. This one uses them very well, like these little ridges and everything that they click into are just beautifully presented and well made. I think it's got a great feel in the hand. Obviously this material feels nice. Um, it's got a nice feel uh, under your fingers. Uh, so those ridges aren't, aren't sharp. So if you hold on them, that's not so much of a problem. And I think it writes really, really, really well. As I said, it maybe writes a little dry occasionally, but there's no, like, I wouldn't even call it ink starvation. I just call it, it just isn't always a gushing wet pen. And of course, that'll be different depending on the ink you use and all of those kinds of things as well. But I also think it's not a bad thing for an EDC pen. You're not always going to be writing on fancy fountain pen paper. You're going to be writing on random notebooks or, you know, office paper or anything, sticky notes, all that kind of stuff. So having a pen that doesn't like a gush with ink makes that all totally way more doable. So yeah, this is the uh, Fountain EDC from Big Idea Design, a really well made, really well thought out, pocket friendly fountain pen made of titanium, which is just great. So thank you for watching. A big, big thank you to Big Idea Design for sending this pen out for review. As I said, I've been wanting to look on for ages and uh, I was really grateful for their support to make this happen. And uh, hopefully I can show you um, their really innovative ballpoint pens and things like that as well in the future. So. Thank you for watching my audience. If you've got products you think I should be looking at or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, I would love to hear from you. It's your support that makes this channel possible. In the meantime, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to get in touch, all my details are listed down below. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, whether they're EDC or whatever they may be. And I'll talk to you soon.